So have you ever wondered what the world might look like in, let's say, 100 years? Well, today we may have gotten a glimpse. Students competed in the Future City competition, and we sent our meteorologist, Michaela Lucero, to see what kinds of cities the kids created. All right, team. This year's Future City theme is Electrify Your Future. Today, middle school students from across the United States and China came together in our nation's capital to showcase their vision of a future city. You have to create a city that is set 100 years in the future that is reliable on clean, green, and renewable energy. I talked with students from Pennsylvania who gave me an up-close look at what they created. And the best part is it not only has lights that light up, but it can also move and rotate. The annual Future City competition gives students one unique challenge with three objectives. Build a model of a city that only runs on renewable energy, write an essay about it, and give a presentation to a group of engineers. The impact this type of a program can give any student, whether they want to go into an engineering field or not, it's giving them skill sets to help them wherever they choose to go in their career. That's so cool. Students spent months researching, building, and preparing their project before competing on a regional level. The regional winners then came here to D.C. to compete with other young people for the best future city. This multi-curricular project teaches kids about STEM subjects, but also important people skills. I learned a lot about how to solve disagreements between each other and how to decide on things together, not chaotically, not yelling at each other, but peacefully and in a logical way. The winning team from New York brought home $7,500 for their school STEM programs, and the Pennsylvania team came in second. I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9.